Hey y'all, this is Monarch Mama, and I have another video for you for the Virtual Homeschool Co-op, and this is assignment number five. So the question for the day is, what are your reasons for homeschooling, and have they changed over the time period that you have been homeschooling? So our, um, we're homeschooling four. We have four children that we have been homeschooling. And when we started homeschooling, we started from the very beginning. Our daughter, our oldest daughter, was, um, we started her at kindergarten and she's already graduated and she's fixing to leave to go to a major university in January. So she hasn't known anything else besides uh, homeschooling. And so we've started out from the very beginning. And the reason why we decided to homeschool was when it was time for her to go to kindergarten, uh, when she was quite young, she had lots of allergy problems, lots of allergy problems. And I didn't feel like we had a good control over them. She has eczema and she has, she's allergic to milk. And um, I just didn't feel really comfortable letting her go to the school because I didn't feel like she was going to get the care that she needed. Um, yeah, I, I just wasn't confident in sending her to the public school because I knew that um, when it came time for lunch, she's a very social child. So I knew that she would be sitting next to her friend and they might have something that she would like to have and they might trade or... So I just didn't feel like she was mature enough to handle controlling her own um, allergy symptoms. You know, being able to tell the teacher, I need my inhaler or I need, you know, whatever it is that she might have needed at the time. So that prompted me to look, um, to really question where she was going to be going to school. So I began to research a little bit and I called the school and I asked a bunch of questions and I just wasn't really satisfied with the answers I was getting. I didn't, I didn't feel satisfied that I could see her during the day when I wanted to, like uh, that I was not allowed to be in the classroom at all to volunteer and you couldn't make things for the class, you couldn't, you just didn't feel comfortable with it at all. We had known homeschoolers in the past and I didn't really feel like that was something that we wanted to do. We were kind of against it up until the kindergarten year. And so as we were preparing to make that decision about kindergarten, I happened upon an article about homeschooling and it was I believe it was in a Christian publication about how homeschooling was becoming quite popular and the statistics on it were very good that the homeschoolers were performing very well and that they were, uh, you know, testing it, had higher test grades than, than their counterparts in the public school system. So it was the first positive thing that I had heard about homeschooling, so it, it prompted me to look into it a little bit more. And the more that I learned about it, the more that I felt comfortable with it. And then we needed to discuss it as a family. We needed to uh, sit down together, me and my husband, and really research and, and find out what, what it is that we wanted to do. So the more we researched it, the more we liked the idea. So we figured, hey, it's kindergarten. It's not you know, rocket science. I think we can handle it. So. Let's try it for a year and let's see how things go. If we don't like it or if she doesn't like it or if it doesn't go well, we haven't damaged her and we'll put her back in the, we'll put her in the school system and, and let them have their chance. So we did that. We did the kindergarten year. We fell in love with it. We loved the freedom of it. We, I loved being able to teach her to read. We had success in everything. I found that, you know, I enjoyed teaching her math. I, en I enjoyed being with her all day. I didn't really want to get rid of her just when she was getting interesting. You know, I didn't want to send her off to school all day just when we were getting to where we could have, you know, meaningful, wonderful conversations and build relationships. So, so that's what we did. We went ahead and every year we said, you know, let's give this a try and we'll just keep going and as long as it's working, we'll just keep homeschooling. And after um, having four kids, we um, 
you know, every couple of years we were adding a student to our school. So, um, but we just fell in love with it. So, you know, we started out with um, putting, keeping her home because of her allergy issues and just me not feeling comfortable that she was going to be able to control them. Um, to just really loving having them home with me and being able to teach them things and watching them learn and you get to know them in such a um, such a deep way because you're so involved in all of their care you know you're in, you're so involved in in teaching your child how to read and you're sharing books and you just know everything that's you enjoy all of their day not just a part of it you don't not just hearing about the day that they had, but you're actually with them and enjoying having, spending time with them all day long. One of the other reasons that we had decided to homeschool at that time was because we are in full-time ministry, and so I knew that my husband's job was going to be one that, you know, could possibly move around. And so, homeschooling was something that could remain constant you know if we had to move around a lot then she would be changing schools constantly we didn't know if we were going to be in mission work or if we were going to be um, in youth work or pastorate or we, we just weren't sure at the time we just knew that full full-time ministry was what we were going to do so um, that was something that could remain constant and we knew that she was going to definitely need some constant in her life so it has ended up though that we have been able to stay in uh, one place for a long period of time the last place that we were serving we were able to be there for 11 years and where we are currently we've been here for six years so we have really been happy and just blessed to be able to stay in one place for long periods of time and I pray that we'll still be able to do that here because um, we still have a few more to graduate um, my my son is graduating this year he's in in the 12th grade and then we have another son and another daughter to go so we still have a few years left to graduate we really really like the community college that's here so we really enjoy that and um, so I just hope that the Lord will let us stay where we are for a little while longer but of course we are always want to honor him and, and follow his will because that's the best place to be is right where God wants you to be I hope this was helpful to you and I'm sure that maybe some of the reasons that you'll homeschool are similar and I look forward to hearing more about your homeschool and why you choose to homeschool Y'all have a wonderful day. Bye.